Hi everyone, it's Raziel Kane and I'm back with another tour review and today, Commander Modesty. Which, as a kid, I wasn't the biggest fan of uh, Skylinks. I preferred Omega Supreme as a mode of transportation and I was upset, not upset, I was disappointed not to see him more in Season 3. But this toy is fantastic. So when I saw him at a reasonable price, uh, which uh, for uh, Canada, 140, no tax, uh, is way better than the over 200 prices I've seen at uh, eBay and other scalping sites. Uh, so no, I'm really happy about that. And uh, I'm going to have a lot of fun when uh, reviewing this. I might have a hard time reviewing him because he's bigger than my stand, but we'll figure something out. Before I do this, don't forget to check out my voice acting playlist, the main feature of my channel, something I'll do until I'm dead. And also wait until the end to get your 10% discount code for DJC collectibles applicable on anything Transformer. And now let's uh, fly out and uh, take a look at this fantastic beast. As expected my setup is completely inadequate so forgive me guys all right so we're gonna start with uh, the uh, little stuff this is the same blast effect set except different color that we got with Omega Supreme and uh, Jetfire so this is gonna go back in the uh, blast effect bag but uh, you do, do have a good peggle for it right here <laughs> And if you want, you can uh, go and put it in the back here. Well, I'll show it when I'm in rocket mode, so it looks good. So this, uh, as it was standard with the Earthrise stuff, you get uh, a planet uh, section. And this is Dead Universe. So if you watch the show, you know that this is appropriate for Skylinks. And uh, you have here, it seems like uh, a broken... Uh, Oh, you have char. Is there more than one? Because usually there's just one. Ah, that's it. You have char here and a space bridge, I think. And then you have more connections. So. And then the box, which is freaking huge. But you have... This is a minor piss-off. You have Ramjet and a Dirge, which I don't have and I'll never be able to get until they're reissue in 20 years. Uh, you have the uh, bird mode, lynx mode, you have anything else? Uh, oh yeah, of course you have trust on this side. Do we have anything else? Well, we have the standard uh, Earthrise artwork. And then the fabulous product shot here. So you have the shuttle, which it the package comes like this. And then you have the bird, the lynx, the sky lynx, and the space base mode. Looks pretty good. And now, Commander Modesty himself, Skylinks, which takes a lot of room. So this is the combined, well not combined, this is the robot mode, I guess. And it looks really accurate. I love the engineering of this thing. Transformation is actually very simple. You just pull limbs out, pull the tail, pull the neck, and it's, it's really good. Uh, but the uh, the whole uh, the whole gimmick is really fun. Uh, so yeah, I'm I'm absolutely happy I picked this guy up because I always kind of wanted him uh, because of the size. But the uh, the thing is that when I started collecting, I tried to avoid super expensive thing. But now at this point, you know, it's you're gonna have a collection. You're gonna have to have to spend some money on uh, the uh, the bigger figure you want. So and this this is one that I. I really like it. Maybe I'll show articulation in separate modes because it's going to be less awkward to do on camera. But you can see the whole details, you know, the wing, the, not the wings. Pardon my French. The tail. Uh, you have articulation, you know, the wings. He looks really good. The face sculpt, well, if you can call that a face sculpt, the teeth sculpt is really good. Articulation, you have the blast effect port. 
Well, the whole thing is majestic. Really is good. The wings, the way they fold, the engineering on this thing is amazing. So let's separate them. Well, I guess I can do that on camera. You just pull this thing here and then pull back. And we're going to do the uh, links mode, which is simple to do when you're already like this. What you want to do is pull this up and flip it around. Lift this up and then pull it back down by back up, depending on which angle you have. And here is the links mode, I guess. Really good. Articulation are quite uh, basic. You have this shoulder thing here that, you, you know, if you want to do a different pose, you could use. You have the rotation uh, on all legs, but they get in the way of the others. So same thing here, but you can fold them and oops, oh, those ratchet sounds are really good. Uh, this is a little loose, I have to say. It's, it could clip on a little better. This goes down when you transform him. Transformation, like I said, is really simple. Uh, but the base mode is a little more complicated. It, you have to twist a lot of things. and It looks really good. The paint application, I mean, this is... I call it Dinobot Gold because the, the, uh, the other guys, the, the Dinobot have the same color and also the same eyes. But look really really good you have the open mouth with a blast effect port like this let's put a small one here i don't recall seeing him shooting things but it's there so we're gonna use it you have uh well this will you know if you need to pose him you can move this up and down uh you have a rotation at, the, at each leg the foot will actually go up all the way and we'll go back all the way, depending on which mode you're going to need or which pose you want to do. There's a big band on each leg, like this. There's no waist rotation. <laughs> uh, so yeah, all the way, all the way, and then you have the band like this. So the links mode is quite basic and uh, quite fantastic. Uh, let me put this in the... Uh, flatbed mode, I don't know what it's called, hold on. And here we go, this is the support mode, I don't know what's it called, the storage space? Yeah, let's go with that, that's the the, the cargo hold of Skylinks. Uh, basically you just pull the foot, pull the legs back, all four of them, flip out the head, and put, uh, uh, fling the tail back in so that's pretty much it I mean the paint and everything looks so accurate the red white blue it's, uh, you know he was uh, <laughs> I just recalled I, I used to have a friend who was convinced that the G1 Ultra Magnus because he shared the same color scheme he was absolutely convinced that uh, Ultra Magnus and Skylink were the same guy and then you could transform him but he couldn't figure it figure it out how to do it and I kept telling him no they're two different characters He's like no man so anyway, us being dumb seven-year-olds. So now let's, uh, do I do the base mode now? Uh, no, I'm gonna do the bird mode and then I'll finish with the base mode, hold on. So here is Skylinks in space turkey mode, which will be our uh, French word of the day. Turkey in French uh, means dined. So this is un dinde de l'espace. He has like really, really skinny legs, but uh, they hold his weight, so that's pretty good. And basically, uh, all the, the only difference is that you fold these like here when you want to do the uh, combine mode. And then you clip this part and this part over the, uh, the shuttle. So this is a... I mean, I love the details on the paint. The NASA logo, really good. Of course, named the Magnificence. Uh, which could be another French word of the day. Magnifique, which means magnificent. Something like that. I love the fact that you can open the, 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 the canopy or something and you get these uh, space shuttle details. I don't know if there's more to it than that. The instruction didn't show if you can. I don't think you can move this around. It looks really good. The tail, the articulation, you have, well, you have a point of articulation here. You have this that goes up and down here. You have another one here and then this goes up here. 
but the thing is that the tail goes inside here so you can't lift him up and close it so he has to go under uh, because if you go above you're losing a lot of uh, land so but it's really good I mean I like the tail and then the tail will flip flop like this if you need it for pose the wings sorry for the knock the wings will have this full articulation here nice ratchet you can fold the wings completely and unfold them uh, the rotation of the wing goes up to here all the way here and then they flap 90 degree like this he's too big for my setup god i keep knocking stuff and then the head will have you have a rotation at the neck here not a, just a band it's not a rotation you have this one here you have this one here so it's dual uh, not dual but there's some piece go left and right some go up and down which is really good you have the same thing hold on the same thing here you have another one and then you have a left right at the upper and then you have a little ball oh there's actually a big ball joint on top and then you have the mount up and down and you can move the blast effect uh, port a little bit so great okay worst pose ever but uh he, he's pretty stable on those little chicken legs so i'm impressed with that so let me put him in uh, shuttle mode and then combine them not combine let me put him in shuttle mode and you know complete the, the whole shuttle thing if that is the worst the predacons can do we have little to fear and here it is with the blast effect fantastic this could pass for a genuine NASA shuttle. I mean, it's really good. And how everything is hidden. Like if you look under, you can see the chicken legs, but from here, they pour, they, 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 there's the, the, the port to connect the wings. So it doesn't show legs that much. I mean, it's, it's really good. And you have the open thing here for uh, the, uh, where they store, you know, stuff that they do in space. And, it's really good. I mean, the the details on the the, the 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 fin. It's really good. It can still rotate. So you know that you want to do navigation. I don't know how a shuttle work. Uh, there's no other really articulation. There's oh yes, landing gear. That's something that's been missing. And I love that the landing gear is this way. So when you roll it. It doesn't want to collapse. It doesn't really roll really good. Oh, well, it's, yeah, it's really tight. The wheels are really tight. Uh, these are a little less. So anyway, but great shuttle mode. The paint on the uh, the windows is really good. I'm guessing Toy Hacks might have something magnificent to go with this, but he's pretty awesome as is. So yeah, I'm really enjoying. Uh, and my son, he loves to take that shuttle and fly around the living room and I die of anxiety all the time. But, you know, he's a kid and he wants to play with daddy's toys, so. I like it. And then if you want to do the uh, combination, or the, not combination, I keep saying that and I hate myself. If you want to do the full mode, you have, okay, I didn't, it took me a while to figure out, but you have this little pin here and then it goes into that hold there so you want to clip it first and then you want to pull down see I'm not he's not clipped yeah he is clipped. so there we go and it holds very sturdily I wouldn't swing it uh, around on a rope but it's pretty good so that's the full uh, shuttle mode Autobots, Captain Fairborn. Uh, with extra cargo it looks, you know, it's always been a little goofy over there, but I really enjoy this mode. And like I said, my son does too. So there you go. That's the final look in the uh, shuttle mode. Now I'm going to do the space station mode. But before I do, I totally forgot your favorite part when I showed the instructions. So here are these long, very detailed instructions. And they're, they're actually quite good and very helpful, especially for the uh, base mode. So pause when you need them. Alright, so this is the 
I'm just gonna do the base mode first like this. Uh, this is basically the ramp to load things in the cargo hold of the shuttle. I'll show in a minute. Uh, and it's a pretty good mode. I mean, this, I guess is, those are supposed to be cannons and that's how they're displayed. You just fold out the tail part of the cargo space and then to stabilize it, but it's pretty stable as is. Uh, you have all those, uh, you know, nice details that, you know, make, make sense in the, the shuttle mode. I like to put them down a little more so that they, they're more resistant. Uh, looks really good. I mean, it's, it's, it's a, a new mode. Uh, I don't know if the G1 toy had something similar. I'm, probably there, there was, uh, but I'm not an expert on G1 toys. So, and then what you do, that's my problem right now, is that basically you have these three connectors here that are supposed to go in that shuttle base. Uh, but I'm either, I'm not doing it properly or I'm just afraid to pop it, but it's, it's loose. I mean, it, it holds. And then when you turn it this way, and you open this like this, it you know it stands. Ah, it's way too big for the camera. Hold on. Uh, if I do this, there you go. So it it works, it stands, but if there's an earthquake, it falls down. So that's my only thing that I'm a little afraid to, to do. And then you have here the connector port, so you can connect. Um, uh, the um, those weaponizer I don't have them iron works and airwaves and the other repaints uh, the whole Botropolis set uh, Astro trains little uh, wagon unfolds actually I'll show you a picture of what we did me and my kid because he begged me to do it when he when I mentioned that uh, you could do a whole city and then he played five minutes with it and I had to put everything back together so what here's what it looks like um, you know for from all the stuff that I have that can be turned into a base so it's pretty cool i mean it's a the playability of this whole you know that you can do with all this connecting thing uh you can connect um if you really want to hoist and grapple their thing will clip on this and you could technically pull it um works better with the uh, iron works i hear but it's really good so yeah there you go so it's it's a fantastic playset, really it is. And I'm sure that any kid who has that will be having hours of fun. I know most people who had uh, Skylinks in G1 had tons of fun with that. And I understand it, it's a fantastic playset. And this one, the engineering transformation is simple, so kids playing with this won't have a problem transforming it. And, uh, but you know, you do, it's Ratchet, so you don't wanna, overplay with it so that uh, they become uh, you know, corroded and uh, it doesn't hold but it's a solid set so let's put him back in robot mode and I'll uh, do my final thoughts okay so here we're back and I forgot to do size comparison so I'm just gonna do a quick one with Orion packs from Mech Fan Toys so you can see uh, Legend Scale versus Skylinks work works really well uh, of course, he's not going to scale accurately with uh, War for Cybertron figures because, you know, they they could never do... Well, they could do a huge Skylinks where it would scale properly, but it would take half a basement. So I'm uh, perfectly happy with this. So goodbye, Orion. And uh, my impression of this set is that it's fantastic. I'm glad I picked him up. I'm... I'm actually disappointed that I didn't pick him up sooner. In the show he was magnificent and now he is magnificent also uh, in toy. He, he's very solid, the articulations are good, transformation is simple, playability is infinite for a kid, uh, it's almost infinite for me and I'm glad to have this guy in my collection now. So thanks for watching everyone, I hope you've enjoyed the video. Uh, sorry for the clunking and hitting and everything but uh, it's just I need a a bigger review uh, station or a more stable setup. I want to thank everyone for uh, subscribing to the channel. It's, you know, support like yours that makes this fun. And I hope you'll come back for more. If you enjoyed this video, please like, subscribe, and hit the bell. Also leave a comment. I love reading those. And remember, nothing in life gives you the right to be an asshole. Take care.